Okay, hey y'all. So real quick, let me give y'all this story. So Satan is so busy and discernment is so important in this hour, y'all. So remember I shared the dream with you guys yesterday. I said in the dream I was, uh, I had went to Walmart and I met my God-ordained spouse in Walmart, right? And I gave you guys the meaning behind that dream. And in the dream, I was talking to Sister Toya, telling her like, man, I met him right up the street. Like that Walmart is a Walmart I go to all the time. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. But I explained to you guys, I gave you guys that dream and the word I released yesterday and the meaning behind it, right? So today I get ready, I'm on lunch break. I get ready to run to the Walmart up the street from me because I need to pick up a few items, right? So I live on the third floor. I come downstairs. I have stuff in my hand that I'm going to put in the trunk because I use like the reusable shopping bags, right? So I always keep them in my trunk for when I go to Aldi's and those type of stores that don't give you bags or whatever. So I took those downstairs from my apartment to throw them in my trunk. So I walk down the stairs from the third floor. I get to the first floor and I just start looking for my car. Beautiful day outside, beautiful sunny day. And I take the disposable bags and I open my trunk and I'm walking to my trunk. As I'm putting the bags in the trunk, I see this guy get out of his gold car and he starts walking towards me, right? Which is already like a, a weird situation to me because it, it just, just like the whole thing was weird that he was even just sitting in the car for whatever reason. But he gets out of his car and he starts to walk towards me. So as he's coming up to me, he can tell, you know, if anyone's getting out of their car to come up to someone who is at their car, like the whole situation was weird and he knew it. So he's like, I promise you, he's like, I'm not going to do anything. And I said, well, I said, you're either going to do one or two things, try to sell me something or kidnap me. I'm like, so which one is it? Because the way he got out of his car, y'all, I was just like, okay, people that just jump out of their car like that here in Texas or in Florida where I'm from, they're going to sell you a CD, a mixtape or something, or it, it's to kidnap you, okay? And if anybody kidnaps me, they will bring me back. They'll be like, this was a huge mistake because <laughs> this girl, she just does not stop talking, right? So they will drop me back off because I'm like 10 handfuls. Anyways, so I tell him, I'm like, you're either going to try to sell me something or kidnap me. I'm like, which is it? And he's like, neither. And I was like, okay. I'm like, um, what's up? And he goes, um, can I have your number? And I'm like, I have a boyfriend. And he's like, oh, okay. Now, mind you, he, he goes, oh, okay. I don't want to step on anyone's toes. That was his response, right? When I tell someone I have a boyfriend, I'm talking about Jesus because he is my man, okay? When I know it's not, a, when a person approaches me and I know for sure that that is not the person God has for me, that's not my husband, like this would just be a door that's open or something, and the whole nine, it's called discernment, y'all. Many of y'all, you got to ask God, heighten my discernment. God already told me, when I send your husband, I'm going to say, that's him. You're going to know exactly who he is, right? This person was not him. I have a very high level of discernment. All glory to God. So I was just like, I have a boyfriend. And again, in my mind, in my heart, my man is Jesus until I get married. Then my, my first man is still Jesus. And then my husband is my husband, right? So he's like, I don't want to step on any toes or anything like that. He's like, I understand, which is actually pretty different in Texas because in Texas and in Florida, where I'm from now, if you tell them people you got a boyfriend, they're like, okay, I don't mind. <laughs> that that would have been the next like a uh, few words that the person says to you. He was really respectful. He's like, um, I don't want to step on any toes. He's like, but I wouldn't know unless I ask, right? I was like, that's true. And I'm like, what are you doing over here? Like, what are you doing sitting in your car? Because, you know, I ask questions, y'all. I will talk to anybody about anything. I don't care who you are. I am a talker. I will talk to a tree. And the tree does not have to talk back. And I will minister to that tree, okay? So I was like, do you need me to pray for you or something? <laughs> that, that's, that was the next question I actually asked him. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, oh, okay. And I was like, yeah. I said, what are you doing in your car anyways? And he's like, my son lives over here. And I was like, how old's your son? He's like 18. He's like, I live in Conroy, Texas. I don't even know what Conroy or Conroe is, okay? But he was like, I live in Conroe, Texas, but my son lives here. And I'm like, by himself? And he's like, yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. 
and he was like well I'm Chris what's your name and I was like Christina and he was like it's nice to meet you and he shook my hand and I told him to have a blessed day and that was it guys don't let Satan trip you up in this hour y'all I knew that man wasn't mine it, and again it's called discernment so don't comment that could have been your husband no it wasn't I have a very high level of discernment Satan when I tell you Satan's counterfeits are being sent left and right Satan's counterfeits are being sent left and right y'all discernment is very important in this hour because you don't want to open any doors that God has already forewarned you about he's already told you this is what Satan's sending but you'll know when I send this person because I'm gonna say that's him or this is how he's gonna look or but I know features of the person God is sending to me I've seen the man in the dream um, in dreams so I know features, characteristics. I know God told me I'm going to say that's him, right? So Satan knows that I've been ministering what God has been giving me, telling me, uh, telling you guys that for many of you, God is saying it's right around the corner. It's as close as your Walmart. It's a place you go to all the time. So of course he's going to put people in certain places. I was on my way to where? Walmart. This man approaches me before I even get out of the parking lot, okay? And he was not an ugly guy very decent looking guy he just wasn't the person god has for me so i'm not gonna open a door that when i know what season i'm in okay i'm not gonna open a door that shouldn't be open period even if i wasn't in my marriage season i'm gonna use my discernment so that i'm not opening a door and connecting myself to people and things that i shouldn't be in this hour okay in this new era so just be careful guys because satan he'll most people with no discernment would have been like this gotta be him because I was on my way to Walmart and in a dream the Lord showed me talk to the man at Walmart the parking lot ain't Walmart okay <laughs> so even with that I would have been like girl how your parking lot is your parking lot yes she was on your way to Walmart but that ain't what the Lord showed you so either way it goes yes we only prophesy in part but discernment is very important if God tells you, I'm going to tell you that's him, he going to tell you that's him. And if you meet a person and he don't tell you, then guess what? That ain't him. Okay, but I can talk to anybody. Most people would have even been like, this got to be him because his name Chris and my name Christina. Like my name is even, a, his name is even a part of my name. This must be him. It must not be. Discernment is very important, guys, in this hour. And I was like, man, I, I can tell God has had me hit it. And I haven't really had a flirt with people like that because I'm like, you're either about to kidnap me or sell, try to sell me something, which is it because y'all, God has had me so hidden. People normally look at me, but they don't talk to me or approach me. But that has since changed, obviously, because I even shared the story with you guys about Mr. Frank, who was not my husband, but wanted to rub my body down and do the whole nine. Like, nah, brother. You could go to hell by yourself. I, Nina, Christina, is not going to hell with you. So you can tell when that, that veil has been released, right? Has been removed. But like God had me saying that word, he had me release to you guys. And I know he's had me talking a lot, but he said, you're no longer hidden, but you're guarded. Meaning only that person can bypass the bodyguard, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, and come directly to you. God has you guarded. Use your discernment in this hour, guys. Do not choose unwisely. Do not choose unwisely in this hour and be holding somebody else's husband or wife hostage when yours is right around the corner, just messing up stuff. Just be careful, y'all. I said, you want me to pray for you? <laughs> I'm like, I could pray for you. I could pray for anybody. Y'all, I could talk to anybody. But I had to tell him I have a boyfriend. And yes, my boyfriend is Jesus. If he would have asked me, I would have been like, yeah, his name is Jesus Christ, but he ain't asked me. So I just left it at, that's my boyfriend because that's who I'm dating right now. It's Jesus. Okay. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with y'all because Satan is out here being a hot mess, but he can't get me and I don't want him to get y'all either. So I love you guys. Have a good day. We'll talk soon.